Hello everyone, it's Jillian, and I'm going to share some really old art. And some of it is like from when I was 11, 12, 13, and some of it may have been even traced from something. If I remember, if it was traced, and if I remember where it was traced from, I will definitely tell you where it came from, and I'll definitely tell you if it was traced, even if I don't remember where I traced it from. This, again, this is like really, really old art, and like, I just thought some of it was hilarious. So... Here we go, let's make fun of it together. By the way, if y'all hear noise, it is a horrible, horrible storm. And so, let's get started. Let's try and focus this. This is a Sailor Moon inspired drawing. And I believe I was thinking of a new scout totally <clears throat> original sailor space um most of these are done on notebook paper because like I don't know I didn't believe in sketchbooks or I didn't know they existed or I was just using what was on hand so and they're all done in pencil. And most of them are in black and white. Um, for the most part, this isn't half bad for whenever I drew this. I think I was like 14, 13 with this one. Uh, the hair is actually pretty good. The neck is a little too long. The face is a little bit too pointy. And the eyes, I don't know if you can really tell, but, um, they're just pure, like, the black part, the iris. No, um, no colored part. I don't know if that was just, like, because I couldn't draw it as good, or what. But, yeah, totally, uh, quote-unquote, original drawing. Do not steal this OC. Uh, inspired by Sailor Moon. Not that you could, uh, tell. <laughs> Good. Okay, this I know I did when I was 13. And it was for a Dragon Ball Z comic. And I actually found this thing. I thought I threw it away. And I might show that later in a different video. And it's hilarious. But yeah, the face is horrible. The body proportions, like, like for a chibi isn't that bad. But for, I wasn't going for a chibi style, as far as I can remember. Um, again, about that same period, and that was apparently my attempt at Sailor's Space. So I'm thinking that first one was done when I was 14. Now this one, I know for sure I traced it from the mangas. And again, I was too young to know about it. This is the first time I'm sharing this drawing. The only reason I am is because I did the background and the coloring. And I remember being proud of the coloring. Because I very rarely did it back then. And I'm still getting better. Again, Sailor's Space. Um, I was obsessed with Sailor Moon. And I still kind of am. And Sailor's Space is sort of where I got my idea to do the Magnificent Maiden. Like, a lot of things have changed. The color palette has not. The fact that she has a staff has not. The hair color didn't. Because, well, it did and it didn't. It turned from being white to brown now it's just brown and like her personality is totally different the outfit's totally different um so like 
once I started getting into Sailor Space and some of the stories I wanted to have with her, I thought she deserved to be her own thing. And that's when I became interested in doing my own thing with the Magnificent Maiden. And she, the Magnificent Maiden, Tafia, is so far removed from my ideas of what Sailor Space would have been like that they're basically totally different other than the fact that they have space powers and are magical girls. That's like their only um, thing. I drew this, it was like an idea for a video game. Like, there's not many Sailor Moon uh, video games out there. I'm not sure when I drew it, but it's not bad for back in the day. I drew a lot of, like, ideas, like towns and stuff. I was 13. This is probably one of my first Sailor Moon drawings. I was obsessed. And I did this a lot. I cut out drawings a lot. Again, the neck is too long, the head's way too big, even for an anime style, and the hands are good. Hands. Oh my god. I'll see if I can find some more interesting ones. I kind of have a drawing the chest, like they almost look like they're leaning forward. And their chest is like really big. And their waist are way too tiny. And look at those hands. Look at those hands. I can do a way better job. Yeah. And this, this is n almost nothing but traces. Like, I'm even ashamed of showing it. Um, I'm thinking about seriously throwing this away, because that's pretty much all there is, and whatever isn't traces, I may try and dig, like, cut them out or whatever. But yeah, this, almost all this notebook up to about here, no, that's still a trace, about here is traces, and the rest of this is pretty much empty. I had a bad habit of that back in the day. Alright, I found the handful of drawings. There's, there's a few more. But these for sure, I know I did not trace. And I honestly do not know how old I was. And they're pretty bad. Look at those hands. But I was like, um, in the 6th grade. I even labeled them. And those are like the handful of ones from the 6th grade that I kept. Almost everything else in this book was traces. Like, I seriously thought that I had thrown those away years ago. But I've been cleaning the basement. And I found this stuff sort of just stuck in there. I don't know. I think my mom saved it. And so... I get to go through this lovely mess and look, look, Lisa Frank, this is classic, this was my folder from when I was like in the fifth grade, um, let's see what's inside. And some of this like, I don't know, oh this is like. I was really obsessed with Trigun, and I wanted to make Vash, like, a hero in my own story, and, yes, it was bad. I was, like, really bad about doing that, like, taking characters and just doing my own thing with them. And it wouldn't necessarily make any sense, per se. And this is all misspelled. And look at those necks. 
Like this isn't half bad looking other than the necks are like way too long. Like if the necks were shorter and the eyes weren't like as bug like, it wouldn't be that bad. Honestly, it really wouldn't. Like I, I'm hard on my younger self, but y'all considering that I didn't know what I was doing, this really isn't that bad. I'll show you some really bad ones. I mean, it definitely needs some help. Don't get me wrong. And I am way better. But this isn't as bad as I remember it being. Mm, I don't remember who this character was, but this is how I used to draw hair focus. And wings. Oh my god. I remember drawing like hair this way. And it's kinda neat. Even if it's unrealistic. And I still kinda do this on some of my current drawings where it's a little bit of crazy hair. But not like as crazy. Like can you imagine trying to color that? Like Oh my god, look at these hands. They're non-existent. They're little nubs. Oh my gosh. One of the very few colored stuff I've probably got. I'm sorry it's not focusing too good, guys. Yeah, and I used to draw sideways like that all the time. Like, the smushed. Like, they don't have a nose. Or they have a nose, but it's just very not realistic. And wings don't go like that. They go more like boop, boop, boop. Or at least that's how I draw them now. Uh, this is a fan art piece for Final Fantasy X-2. It's Yuna. It doesn't look anything like her other than the long hair thingy. It's when I was drawing stuff with like closed eyes. I'm like seriously. And this reminds me of Flo for some reason from like the progressive commercial. Not sponsored by the way. Um, no. Okay. Like I don't know if you can read any of it. And you probably wouldn't even want to because it's like misspelled and three pages long I remember doing this it basically my friend and I created like this alternate universe and we would do like comics and like role-playing basically and like little drawings and like fake radio shows with like my tape recorder where it was like her as Claire, myself as Gemini, or Gemini, I don't remember, and I was in love with Titus from Final Fantasy X, I forget who she wanted, Bash, maybe, or somebody else, and Jet and Oron were in this alternate universe, and they were like moonshiners and they ate moon pies and like Alfred from Resident Evil wanted to marry Claire and was like also like kind of gay but I, we were in high school okay like, it made no sense, I'm not saying it did, Oh, um, Sherry was, like, Titus's little sister, and I kind of have kept that, I remember some names from when I was in high school, but I've changed a heap in lot. Like, this is some drawings from the Magnus that I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes. Here's 
another example of how I would smush the face. Uh, let me see if I can find a pencil and I'll draw what a face should look like. Now, I'm not, I'm doing this like for viewing it from the iPad, so it's probably not as good as what it normally would be. But chin, and then like here's the forehead. And here would be like the eyes. And then the nose. Would be more accurate to... Well, that's not the best thing in the ear. And then the eyes would go right in here. You want to do a more anime look. I don't know, a lot of my characters back in the day had like grumpy expressions as well. I don't know what was up with that, and I was obsessed with beads. But yeah, I would smush, like, I wouldn't draw this part, I would just draw that straight. Not that that's much better. <laughs> I can do better, I promise, but just not by looking through the iPad. Yeah, that was, I don't know why I would do triangle faces. I'm sorry, this isn't going to focus. 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 I guess because it's kind of smudged, but you can kind of get the idea. Trying to get to at least focus a little bit of this and try and redraw but I say oh my god those eyes and I wink and I was a proud of this eye that's why I didn't want to try and recreate it that's a sad thing and again the neck's too short too long not wide enough and the ears are too Way too small. Oops. Look at those hands. They look like little teeny claws. And the face, those eyes. I think this was before I was trying to draw anime. Or when I was trying not to draw anime. Because I went through stages where. I wouldn't necessarily draw in the anime style, or I would try to draw more realistically. This was done when I was in the sixth grade, I remember. Look at those, those monster hands. I'm still, I'm still not great at drawing hands. But I'm way better at it now. Again, I drew a lot of these like scenery type things. And I don't know why. Look at those hands. I'm trying to show as much of this as I possibly can. Sailor Space again. I was obsessed and I'm still like weeb. I think this is, I honestly don't know. I drew so many like random little comics 
that's Jedi. Again, that was like the character's name. And this was like years later, me trying to draw it better. And it's better than some of these later ones that I'm getting to. But it's still not as good. I may put it to the side to do a redraw. Simply to like show my progress. And I went through a stage where I drew side characters like that with the little button nose. Like, um, Precious Moments. Kind of reminds me of that. And I've gotten way better at hair. <laughs> um, I still like to add lots of curls and fluff. But not quite this busy. Like, I looked through, this is pretty good too, I might add that to the, to draw again. Right. Um, I noticed that when I did do traces, which I'm trying to not show you those, but I did look through them, that a lot of times if I did my own original characters over, like, the trace, like, did the outline of the body and then added my own touches like basically used the trace as like a base when I was a kid this is like a Dragon Ball Z fan art which is like all of it I did this when I was like 13 and again the hands not that bad here but and some other pictures that's like way off and the models would go the character model would be way off a lot of times but anyway in my that's supposed to be Goku it doesn't look like Goku but it is and Vegeta and some of these were just my characters that they were in for fun and look I would tape up the thing. I actually taped it in like a notebook. I thought I threw all these away, like, honestly. Uh, but I would add my own touches to, like, um, one of the few times I colored one thing. And I would add my own touches it. I'll see if I can find an example real quick. Okay, this is an example. This is a Sailor Space drawing. It is a trace from Sailor Moon S movie box. And this is like the Sailor Moon pose. Um, and I would, I think it's from here up. That's the trace. And, like, I would do my own hair, my whole own, like, little colorings. And, like, there's better examples of this type of thing. And tracing is not right unless you're using it to learn. And I wouldn't recommend posting it or anything like that. Some of these are my friend's drawings. That's a total trace. That was the original drawing, that really bad one. That's original. I'm trying to, okay, here's a good, really good example. Again, this is all traced. I think that's from the mangas, that's from the mangas. This... I think from the movie or from the manga and I traced the hands, the face, and like the hair, but everything else I drew myself and I would do that a lot and some of it's like better examples than even that, but um like, I was a stupid kid, and this is like my first time ever sharing anything like that. 
So, yeah, I would do a lot of this where it was very badly drawn. And a heck of a lot of it. I mean, this thing is a huge amount of drawing. And look how tiny I would draw and how much detail. God. I need to do that nowadays. Yeah, but pages and pages of this, like... Poorly. And some of it's just blurred over time, so I'm sorry for the blurriness. That was Gohan. I had, like, the biggest crush on him when I was, like, a kid. Videl was not good enough for him, by the way. Just like him. Oh, and, like, this comic, it was, like, a blend of every fan thing I was into at the time. So Gundam Wing, Harry Potter, Dragon Ball Z, which was like the major thing. Uh, my own stupid ideas. Like, I honestly don't think I could have like fit any more into it. And I would like draw on the back of pages, which with like pencil. And look how dark those freaking lines are. You can tell how old they are. Just smell of old book type of thing. And don't ask me what's going on in these. I honestly, I haven't read them in like forever. And some of them are just unlegible because I can't spell with a diddle hoop nowadays. Can you imagine back then? Yeah, you can see my primary thing was this comic and pages upon pages. I honestly don't know how many there are. At some point, I might try to put them all in order and, like, we can try and read them for fun if you want, assuming I get enough views on this. That might be something, and we can all laugh at together, but I'm just showing the artwork. Like, I did trace back in the day. I didn't realize how much until I found, like, this really, really old stuff. But this is all my own stupid handiwork. And, like, pages and pages of it. And that's just how you get better. And even, like, this is a later one. It's, it's a lot better than some of the other stuff. I mean, it's still not great, but it's better. And I did a lot of stick figures. Oh, my God. Like, even this, which is way later on, is better than some of the other ones. Like, it's still not great, but it's better. So, I'm, I was trying, I should have, like, paid more attention in that class or something. But I was getting better and I was trying to be reliant on my own skills, my own eye. This is... See, even that's a lot better than some other older stuff. And I'm sure I threw away at least some of this. So this isn't even all of my old art ever. This is just what has survived. So keep that in mind that I drew all the time again. No, no. I don't know why I did that. Here's that same character with that curly hair. A lot better. Still can't really see it that well because of the camera I don't know why I was a 
obsessed with those trolls. And I went through like a period where I was like really loving the gel pens. Got Dragon Ball Z comic again. Again, these are a little bit older, so or a little bit younger in like retrospect to some of the other stuff. So it's a little bit better. One of the few times I actually colored. Like, I do not claim any of this to be original ideas. Like, you can clearly see I was obsessed with a lot of stuff back then. Like, hashtag my stupid younger self. That was further back into this thing. This I drew when I was in the 6th or 7th grade, and I thought it was funny. And my aunt was having a party for her dog, and a bunch of other dogs were invited, and I thought it would be funny if the cat and, like, a random raccoon was invited. I don't know. I thought I'd share that terribleness. And this was from some project, and I saved these. And you were supposed to do, like, art for it. And this is, like, tissue paper. And then I add the characters. I should do something like this again. Where it's, like, a Mod Podge, I guess. And I add glitter. Glitter is the herpes of the craft world. And this is kind of neat. Um, that's pretty much everything that was interesting that was in this little collection. I've got more downstairs, but it's a little bit more recent. And, uh, I might share that if y'all like this one enough. And it would have more funny stories attached to it. Like, I don't really have any... Ha ha stories attached to most of these. It, it's just like my younger self trying to learn to draw. Um, and you know, it is what it is. At least I tried to draw a lot of full bodies apparently when I was younger, more than I thought I did. Uh, so I didn't just rely on headshots. Uh, I did go through the closed eye. I knew I did that. But I did have a lot more two eyes opened than I thought I did. Which is pretty good. Yeah. Keep your old artwork. Who knows, in like two, three years, or in this case like 20 plus years... <laughs> You might find it funny, and I thought it was funny. I hope y'all did too. Please leave a like, a subscribe, thumbs up. Tell me what your favorite piece of this mess was. And give me a follow on DeviantArt or Watch or whatever. I'm also on Instagram under Jillian Beeler, one word. And, like, I promise I can actually draw nowadays. I actually do post every now and again speed paints with story times on this channel. It's kind of rare. But I'm trying to be better about it, particularly with everything going on in the world right now. Anyway, peace, love, and all that jazz. I hope to see you around again sometime soon. Bye!